My name is Kelly Pavel, Technical Manager for Envino Engineering, LLC. Today I want to talk about high steam quality is essential for the steam system. What we'll be discussing is understanding steam quality and testing methods. This is a part one of a two part series. Steam quality. What is steam quality? It's a proportion of saturated steam, the vapor, in a saturated condensate liquid, steam vapor mixture. Steam quality of zero indicates 100% liquid or condensate. So if you have a steam quality of zero, it's all going to be water. While a steam quality of 100 indicates 100% steam quality. And the thing we want to talk about is 100% steam quality because that's what we're striving for. That's what the heat transfer is designed for. And 100% steam quality essentially is the correct amount of laden energy, BTU per pound, and the sensible energy, BTU per pound, of the vapor at a given pressure. One pound of steam with 95% and 5% liquid entrainment has a steam quality of 95% or 0.95. Measurements need to be obtained. A steam quality measurement are temperature, pressure, and the entrained liquid content. Uh, we'll be talking more about testing methods uh, in this presentation. A high percentage, 88% or more, of the industrial systems use saturated steam for process applications. Saturated steam, meaning steam that is saturated with energy, is completely gaseous and contains no liquid. We have a tendency to think saturated steam means saturated with water or condensate. No. It is saturated with energy. All heat transfer is designed for 100% steam quality. On the right hand side is your enthalpy chart. And if we exceed the saturated con conditions, we will go into superheat conditions, which is shown in this region here. Steam quality is very important. Why? You know, why should I be concerned about steam quality? Today's manufacturing techniques of heat transfer and control and related standards are all dedicated to improving, providing the highest quality of product to the marketplace. And steam plays a vital role producing the final product. Therefore, steam quality should be one of the main measurable points in creating a product in today's manufacturing facility. Remember, all these processes out here in this system require 100% steam quality. Unless it was designed for lower steam quality, which is very, very, very seldom ever done. So when I go buy a heat transfer component, be it a dryer, a shell and tube, plate and frame, I'm looking for 100% steam quality. Heat transfer components, plate and frame, plate coil, tracing, base performance calculations on 100% steam quality, which I just said. So everything is based on 100% steam quality. Unfortunately, steam quality typically is not monitored closely or not even monitored in the plant operations, and we always assume it's 100% steam quality. Now, the steam coming off of a saturated boiler is not 100%. It's close. It's 98.5. It, it might be 99, but it's not 100%. Therefore, when the steam is going out in the system, steam quality will start to degrade. And that's why we need to know what quality is the steam there. And in the part two, we'll talk about what degrades steam quality. But the thing is, is that don't assume steam quality is 100%. It's going to be less than 100%. Well, 
What we need to know is how far below 100% the steam quality is. And it will have a detrimental impact, negative impact on heat transfer. You know, poor steam quality blamed on some of the items in the steam system. And we're having issues with this or that, that people go, oh, you have, you know, poor steam quality. Or you have, you know, wet steam. That's another term that's used all the time. Wet steam. You know. The thing is, is what we're referring to is steam quality. But you walk into the facility, there's no measurement of steam quality. Therefore, we have no basis to say, yes, it's due to wet steam. Field documentation by our steam engineering team, a high percentage of the steam systems are operating below acceptable steam quality levels. One of the things that is always looked on to assessing an issue in the plant operations or even an engineering assessment of the steam system, one of the points that we're looking for is what is the steam quality in the system. Therefore, you should have some method, and we'll talk about the methods for measurement for steam quality in this presentation. Low steam quality reduces heat transfer efficiency. You know, I, a thin layer of condensate on the heat transfer will reduce the efficiency by 14%. In some cases, low steam quality can reduce heat transfer efficiencies by more than 65%, specifically on rotating dryers. On rotating dryer systems, you know, we want the l lowest film of condensate possible on the dryer heat transfer. So additionally, liquid or low steam quality collects on the wet surface of the heat exchanger, causing additional buildup of liquid, which reduces the ability of the steam's latent energy to be transferred to the product. It's a R, it's a resistance. It's one of the calculations we use in heat transfer. So it's a R, or it's a resistance of the steam quality. Low steam quality can cause premature failures in components. Happens all the time. You know, premature valve failure. You know, condensate passing through a valve will tear that valve internals apart. As you can see in the right hand side, the erosion of the valve, and that's from condensate passing through. Internal turbine component failures, detriment to a steam, uh, a saturated steam turbine, or even a superheated steam turbine is kind of say passing through it. And the other thing is, is that water hammer in the system, if the steam quality is very poor, uh, the additional condensate can build up and cause water hammer. It, it is in the system. It, it has a negative effect throughout the system. And that's one of the reasons that we need to be looking at steam quality. Now, at their website, there's a technical paper that will go through everything that we'll be discussing in this video in more de detail. And also up at the website, there's 68 best practices, plus articles, plus instructional videos, all generically done. And what we're trying to do is help the STEAM world understand the things that impact or, or, or give us negative effects of what we're trying to do with the process applications. A little bit on our team, uh, we have partnerships with our clients short term, we do engineering assessments, uh, steam balancing, steam reliability. Remember one thing, everything in the steam system today lasts 15 years or more. We do engineering training. Uh, we also do implement engineering design, project management, and full engineering support for our customers. I look forward to the next section of our videos on steam quality. Have a great day. My contact information is here and have a great day.